Well, hello, this is Pastor Stephen with another thought for the day. So let's just begin with a deep breath. So comparing the writings from the Jesus tradition with the writings from the Buddhist tradition, we have this first from Jesus from Matthew 5. I say to you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the Gehenna of fire. Gehenna was a valley, probably a trash dump in those days. And then from the Buddhist tradition. Here, student, some man is of an angry and irritable character. When criticized even a little, he is offended and becomes angry, hostile, and resentful and displays anger, hate, and bitterness. Because of performing and undertaking such action, after death, he reappears in a state of deprivation, in an unhappy destination, in perdition. So both of these traditions are very strong in their condemnation of anger. And they probably don't mean, I don't think, the kind of anger that you feel at injustice, like the kind of anger that you uh, feel when somebody is being mistreated, because that's normal and good. The kind of anger that Jesus had at the people who were um, in the temple and you know when he went in there and turned over the tables and things. But the kind of anger where you just you get offended and you get resentful and you get ir irritable and th that kind of a person is corrosive. And that kind of a person is corrosive of a whole community and can turn a community toxic. And that's why there's such strong condemnation of it in both traditions. Because both Jesus and the Buddha were about creating communities of people who knew how to live together without bringing their ego issues to bear on everything, you know. And instead of being egocentric and ego-oriented, they could be compassionate and other-oriented. Ori other but if you're angry all the time, it's because you're self-oriented, right? And that kind of a person is corrosive to a community. So it's interesting that both of these traditions condemn that kind of anger very strongly. And that's our thought for the day.